Hey, this is Rick and welcome to another review. This is the North Star Broadcast and Spot Sprayer 16 gallon tank. You can mount this to an ATV or as you can see, I mounted it to my plugger attachment. That's going to be for my zero turn lawnmower. I put the straps right around the cart on my plugger. It fits in there nice, no problem. And you see the straps right there and right there. This is the broadcast sprayer. It has a valve on it. Here's the pump. Now this pump will not turn on unless you have a valve open or continuous flow, which means it won't just run like some of the cheaper models, which is nice. And there's the sprayer attachment. It has a 15 foot hose that's coiled up around it. And it says that the broadcast sprayer will actually spray about 14 feet. Now we'll put this to the test. I've gone ahead and I've just kind of haphazardly, but not too bad. I just put some tape on the back of my seat so that my cord won't rub on the back of my lawnmower uh, muffler and uh, burn up. And I have enough slack that I can make my turns. I've just gone ahead and put the battery clips on. Positive on the red and the black on the negative. It has a switch. You just turn the switch on it's engaged right now it has the uh, minus sign which means it's engaged and how that works like I said is when you go ahead and and turn this on like right now I'll disconnect the hand sprayer here and we'll bring that around and like I said it's got a 15 foot spray hose but I'm just gonna show you how far this will shoot out shooting out right towards my Jeep all the way out there so it's got a good spray pattern that you can see that it uh, will reach out and it's got my driveway pretty well wet right now and the pump shuts off as soon as you disengage the trigger on the sprayer the sprayer is okay. It's just a plastic uh, sprayer with looks like a or with a stainless steel looks like a 3/8 tubing shaft down to just a plastic sprayer. They've got hose clamps on here. Uh, I would go ahead and set it up with just water before you put your chemical in and go ahead and test all your connections cuz you just heard the pump engaged. It's because of that little leak that just came out. Really easy to put together. Uh, you can check out my unboxing video if you didn't see me put it together. Like I said, the straps and all come with it. And I'll go ahead and put this spray bar back in here. Has nice little clips on the back. Once you cool that back up. And this is the broadcast sprayer. What it'll do is you take it out of the holder right here. And it's got these nice little, little feet that they're right there and those feet will actually go right in to this holder right here and it clips in right there you just push it in until it seats and you'll hear it pop in on both sides and there's your valve so now it's set up for broadcast spray and it says that it will do a pattern of 14 feet so I'm going to go ahead and back this out and then you can see the pattern so now I've went ahead and backed it out I'm going to go ahead and turn the switch back on like I said, the pump won't engage until you open up these valves. So we'll open up this valve right here. And now you can see the spray pattern. Goes all the way over to there. And all the way over to there. So keep that in mind. That looks like it's roughly about a pattern of maybe I'd say about 10 feet but that should do uh, fine for what we're going to use for this application it's like I can turn that nozzle a little bit more all right so I'll show you how the sprayer works here we'll go ahead and we'll click the switch right here just turn that on and you heard the pump engage and now we'll just use the sprayer that you can't get in with your broadcast prior. And you see that 
puts it down pretty good. And now I'll show you how the broadcast fryer works. Go ahead and clip this back in its spot here. Bring a little holder here. Shut the button off. Turn the valve back on right here. And you go ahead and turn around. That's how it works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some chemical in. I've got another review for uh, Gordon's uh, Broadleaf um, Weed and Feed. If you want to check that video out, check it out. Give me a thumbs up, um, like it, please subscribe. You never know what kind of video I'm going to do next. And once again, thanks for watching.